Hello and welcome to the Liz Experiment YouTube channel. This is the channel where I record field notes from my journey towards architecting my best life. I am here in Billingshurst, West Sussex, England. Um, I'm still here, I should say. I've been here for the last couple of videos, or maybe just last week's, but anyway, I've been here for a few weeks, and I'm here pet-sitting for two lovely basset hounds named Penelope and Mildred. Um, I think if I lean a certain way, you can see one of them lying on the on the gra on the steps behind me, unless she moved. That's Millie. And Penny is lying down over here, and I kind of don't want to mess with her groove. So, um, gosh, what did I learn this week? It's been a hell of a week. We've had a lot of crazy rain. I guess Europe had this whole, like, heat wave the past week, and now I'm dealing with the repercussions of that heat wave, which is basically a lot of rain. Um, so it's a beautiful day here, and we're trying to get outside and enjoy it. Now, though, let's get into what did I learn this week? What did I work on this week? Also going to put on my shades here because I'm squinting like a blind person. Well, not a blind person, but somebody with poor vision like myself. It's, it was a self-inflicting joke. I'm not joking about the blind. Okay. Um, so what did I learn this week and what did I work on this week? What I learned this week was uh, to push through the small moments because they'll add up to big ones. I have spiders all over the camera, so I'm just, I'm not... Not, but you get it. Um, so you push through the small moments because they can add up. They will add up to be big ones. I learned that the small businesses uh, closing in and around smaller towns in the world. It's not just happening in the U.S. It's. I should say I, I knew that this was a thing, but I saw it firsthand this week as well. So, I um, was walking around Billingshurst, which is a small town, probably like 45 minutes to an hour train ride from London, maybe shorter, maybe longer. Uh, so it's not too far from London. It's pretty, it's kind of in between London and Brighton. And um, I basically can't get too far away from the house because the dogs can't really be left alone too long, which is fine by me. Um, but I was walking around town this weekend and there were a lot of shops. Well, I should say there were a few shops. There were charity shops, which is what I've learned they call thrift shops or uh, like the Salvation Army shops type style here. There were a few of those open. There was a craft shop where I was able to get really great pens for my journal taking and all that stuff. Uh, but otherwise, there were a lot of really empty spots as well. I mean, there were some restaurants and all that. It, it's a, kind of a bustling town, but you can see that it was more bustling. And so um, I came face to face with that this week. I also learned that, or remembered, because I think I may have talked about this before, but I remembered that I don't need to be exploring every minute that I'm on this journey. Um, in fact, it's kind of foolish and unhealthy for me to think that I should be working full time, taking care of pets in somebody's house full time, and be exploring every single area to learn everything I can about it. It's just impossible to do, so I, I learned that this week. <laughs> and the last thing I learned this week is I came really hardcore face-to-face -face with my life, my life's distractions. And so I'll talk about more, I'll talk more about all of those things in what did I work on this week? Um, I should get segments like that, but I don't have a radio voice, so it won't be as fun. Anyway. So what did I work on this week? Well, I did take an adventure, a small one. I talked about pushing through the small moments because they become big ones. And so um, I had another video where I kind of was like scared to go to the grocery store um, and then pushed through and did it. And, and I highlighted that because I think those moments are important because we, we gloss over them and then we kind of lose the foundation of who we are. Each of these moments builds up the foundation of who we are. And so the moment I had this week was I had Friday off from work um, and I wasn't able to go too far, like I said, but I still wanted to get out. And so I just decided to get on the train and go to the next town um, and walk around. And I ended up in a coffee shop. I don't know, just something happens. I ended up in bookstores and stationery shops. It's just who I am. But um, I grappled with going. And I, I tell myself that it's, oh, maybe I don't want to get out of the house. But really, it's the anxiety that my mind goes through with, how do I use the train? What if I get lost? What if this happens? What if something happens? Blah, 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 blah. 
And instead, I just pushed through that and went. And I'm confident that that added to the foundation of my confidence. Wow, that's not very good English. But you get what I'm saying. So that was one thing I worked on this week. The second thing um, that I worked on was, you know, it makes me sad when I see businesses close, small businesses in in different towns, including my own where I'm uh, from in New York. And I struggle between this thinking of like, you know what, maybe they just weren't very good businesses. Maybe businesses close. Like that's what happens. Sometimes, you know, they're just not good at business. And then I struggle on the opposite end with damn you, Amazon and online shopping and the Internet, a.k.a. the thing that I help create. Uh, so I really worked on just kind of feeling the feels on those regards and just being present in a small town, um, trying to frequent the businesses that are here instead of going online as much. Um, and just trying to be the person that, uh, and help, help the businesses that I think are good businesses and, and making the world what I want it to be. So that was the second thing I worked on. The third thing was the, um, you know, I don't always have to be exploring. So I'm always thinking I should be doing more. I should be seeing more. I'm here in England. I don't have anything else to do. AKA I'm working full time and taking care of like the house and pets and stuff. Um, but I'm always thinking that. And then this week, what I worked on was really just being cool (laughs) with what's happening. It sounds so silly. I know, but it's like, it was raining like crazy. I tried to go to Brighton on Saturday. That didn't happen because the trains weren't working. Um, I I tried to make this like agreement with myself that I was going to get out of the house at least once a day. But with the rain, I was like, "Mm, not happening. And you know what? That's all good. Like I'm not wasting my opportunity. I'm just living it. Um, And I think taking the pressure off myself was a really big, important point. And I'd love to hear from you guys if you also put pressure on yourself in those ways. I'm assuming people do, uh, but sometimes I feel like I'm kind of crazy for doing that. So if you do that, uh, let me know in the comments below. And then the last thing that I worked on, um, and this was the point I said I learned about my life's distractions. So this one is a little bit long, so I'm going to try to break it down. So there are two things. The first thing. Last week, I was really missing New York City really, really bad. Like, I I was jonesing to be back in the city, to be back with my friends, but also to be back around just the city. Like, I love it. It's a drug. I've said that for years. It's an addiction. It's a place you, once you, once you own it, you, in your head, you know, like, once you're like, I own this city, I could do this. You're like, you could do anything, and it's an adrenaline rush, Right. So my dear friend uh, pushed me, as he always does, to think about why and what I missed about the city and what what were my feelings stemming from. And I did that and I thought I knew the answers. And I told myself those answers were, well, when I was in the city, I was able to play sports and I was able to go out with friends and like-minded individuals and I missed doing that. And that quieted my missing New York City for a while. Now, um, that was the first part of the story. The second part, I mentioned in a blog post this week that I wasn't sleeping well. And then um, I woke up the morning after I arrived here in Billingshurst with this terror in my soul of like, oh my God, I'm alone in another country. I know zero other people in this town. If something happens to me, who do I call? I don't even know who to call. I am alone. How will I meet people? And if I don't meet people, I'm like a loser, right? Like I should be meeting people. So that terror extended into my week when I wasn't, I would wake up every morning around like two or three in the morning and I wouldn't fall back asleep till like five or six in the morning. Um, and one, one night that terror became extra, right? And it kind of multiplied into, uh, what is my life? I travel and I sit in a house somewhere and watch other people's pets. And then I just go to the next place. I don't even meet people. I don't have a community. I'm not building a career. Like, what am I doing? Um, and then I, I just stopped and everything like clicked into place at like three in the morning here in West Sussex because I saw clearly like, Oh, that's what I missed about New York. It was this belief that everything I was doing, AKA, I had work, which that was cool. That was great. It wasn't the work, but I was going out pretty much every day after work to some event or another. I was doing something pretty much every weekend. Um, I was networking. I was having drinks. I was doing something all the time. And those do that doing something made me feel like I was somebody. It made me feel like I had an important life. 
But in a reality, all of it was a distraction from those moments that I had the other night where I was completely alone and didn't know who I was and didn't want to grapple with it. Because that's what's really scary is figuring out who you are without all of the distractions. So that's what I worked on this week. I worked on really settling into myself. Who am I without the distractions, the events, the activities, the sports, the people around me? Who am I? And you know what? I haven't gotten an answer yet, but I know I am on the path to it. So it was a hell of a week in that regard. And that's it for this week. Next week, I will be back in Budapest, Hungary, visiting my dear friend. I'm so super excited about it. Um, but in the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. If you have something that you would like to share about your own journey, I would love to hear it in the comments. I, I really would love to hear from you guys. Um, and if you liked this video and want to get, the, get them in your uh, inbox or whatever you have in YouTube every week, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So until next week, thanks for watching. I'm going to